Kiss. I'm part of BAM Assassin PMC and today I'm going to talk about new features in BAM Assassin 4.0. BAM Assassin 4.0 has not been released yet, but it's going to be released very, very soon. BAM Assassin 4 started as a branch of Spam Assassin 3 for one seven years ago, and the primary target was to improve UTF-8 browser. Uh, this is because it needed some improvements to better check uh, emails that are not written in plain English and uh, in languages that can be represented uh, using only ASCII characters. Uh, while developing for the branch, 3.4 release has gone on and five minor versions of 3.4 has been released. The most recent one is 3.4.6 that has been released last December. UTFA support was the primary target of Spam Assassin 4. Development has gone on and uh, there were a lot of other features. But UTFA support uh, uh, was a big addition and uh, it's, it's an improvement that can easily that let, let Spam Assassin easily check. emails written in several languages uh, and for example you can check if uh, now if uh, a subject contains an emoji as well. This was very very complex to do in previous and older stances version. This is a important addition to support many languages, emails with email languages but rules are a bit more complex now because some part of the rules must be written using hex charts like in this example. Name base is an algorithm that checks the words that are mostly used in spam or ham emails. At the moment with 3 or 4 only emails written in English are supported uh, uh, in the way in the best way because for example uh, in 3 or 4 when the base algorithm analyzes an email written in English it skips Articles, the common use objectives, and so on. In 4.0, this option has been added for a lot of our languages as well. Uh, we have support for uh, Italian, French, Danish, German, and so on. And we go to have support for Chinese, Russian as well. For example, in, in the Danish configuration, we skipped commonly used uh, articles, commonly used objectives, uh, commonly used verbs, and so on. So uh, the base algorithm is more effective in uh, English, in Danish, and in other languages as well. And you can choose which languages you're interested in too, based on your current Mayflow. The Extract Text plugin is another great addition. It use, it's a plugin that uses OCR software to extract text from attachments. This is a, a common way used by spammers to send spam emails. It happens uh, a lot of times that spammers uh, send an email without text or with uh, only garbage in the text. Uh, we attach it, an image with the content that they want to send you, 
or a PDF with the content we, they want to send you, or even a PDF with a bad URLs in PDF. And all this text that can be analyzed by external OCR software can be extracted and then injected in the Spam Assassin engine. So even if the spammy text is in the attachment, it, it now can be detected. This plugin is uh, as the it's great feature, but OCR software is not perfect, so some garbage text can be extracted. And if you are highly if you highly depend on the, the native base implementation in the native base plugin, some text that you currently use on the base database can be poisoned by bad words that are casually extracted by OCR software, which is not perfect. With the, the default implementation, we had support for several softwares, like for example, Tesseract, which is a software that extracts text from commonly used image formats like BMP, JPEG, PNG, TIFF, and so on, and other softwares or scripts as well. For example, uh, the second configuration part uh, extracts just the URLs from Excel files. And this is uh, interesting because uh, recently spammers tried to send you Excel files that are commonly used in uh, business emails with uh, some bad URLs inside the Excel files. In this case, uh, the URL is extracted, is injected uh, into Spam Assassin Engine, so it's checked uh, with uh, uh, real time block list, uh, uh, it checked its uh, effects from uh, uh, probably uh, hacked WordPress uh, website and so on. All the DB macro plugin is part of uh, 3.4 release versions and uh, it's a uh, very important plugin because uh, spammers were trying to send malware using uh, macro office documents. Recently Microsoft uh, decided uh, to disable body folds uh, macro plugins and this is a good addition when Microsoft security implementation if Microsoft will do that. Uh, the new feature is that with uh, the OLB macro plugin uh, improvement say, that will be available in terms of C4.0 URLs that are uh, saved into office metadata like uh, document properties will be extracted and check it. This is a common way, for example, to insert URLs into a blank documents so you cannot see anything, you just click and this URL is uh, sent to the browser and then operates. This way this URL is checked uh, and uh, Spam Assassin Engine will detect that it's probably uh, a right direction to a model website. URL shorteners are commonly used for several reasons. The primary reason is to short a very, very long URL that are complex to copy paste, or uh, they are used, uh, for example, in Twitter and other social websites. Spammers they use the code, use the short URL to hide the final content of the URL. So this plugin will uh, try to 
follow all the URL shortness to find the final destination, the final URL, and check that URL with an assassin engine with a, re with a common use technique to check spam. Sometimes URL spammers use URL shortness concatenated, and this is supported as well by this plugin, so they check with uh, they use one URL shortness, they can continue with another, and so on. And this is, can be checked as well. One example is, in this example, we can check bit.ly and short.gy. Short.gy is, is a different type of URL shortness, because uh, while bit for .ly, as an a, a string after the domain short.gy and a, a custom fur level domains to the main short.gy domain and then mesh. So it, it's two variations of this of URL short and that was supported. Another interesting feature that's not enabled by default because it's a new scene that's to write rules that's not used in default use yet, in default rules yet, but it will definitely be used in the future and it can be used to write your own rules because uh, Spam Assassin is, it should be considered as a framework to write spam rules. Is capture tags. Capture tags uh, are tags that can be used in a rule that are matched in a rule and that can be used later to write another rule. Uh, as, as an example, we first we match that we have the proper version of the software, so the, so the strength is in for that future capture rules enabled. We check that we have the from name field, so the from email address is not just an email address, but it has a name as well, and that that name is mentioned on the subject. This rule will trigger if in the subject you have the same name you have in from. With this new syntax that you can check a lot of type of spam messages that were not possible or they were, they were really complex to do that before. Rules are usually deployed using channels. This is the full channel that there are other channels developed by other developers. Uh, all those channels, rules are downloaded using SA update script. We had a uh, free more free new options to that script, and they are force mirror, which forces a subject to use a specific mirror server. This is used if you for example, maintain a private mirror with your own rules and you, you won't want to deploy pen assassin rules to your servers without going and without downloading all the rules uh, from internet from all of the servers. In this case you can download the rules once and then use your only your own private mirror. Score multiply or score limits are used to change the scope from a particular channel. There are channels that have are configured to have scores that may be way too high or too low for your main flow so you can multiply those scores or limit the maximum value of those scores to for example to check if uh, a channel is worth 
join it by limiting the scores or to multiply and give more effective importance to the, the scores that are downloaded from that channel. Big providers uh, using are using usually intermediate server to check email and read it and so on and digging records which are with as way to authenticate emails be, can become invalid if for example the provider add uh, the spam tags to the email. Arc signatures are a way to authenticate re a second time those emails. This is, was not supported until the Spanish Session 4, so it means that some emails that, are, that should be considered ham is not correctly detected because the CAM records are invalid but our signatures were not detected and correctly analyzed. Uh, this is a future mostly to check, to better check uh, ham emails from spam emails. DMARC policies are a way to determine that your name should be used only by your servers. You can add a DMARC policy to your domain, set up your DKIM signatures keys, set up your SPF, so you, you send your emails only from your servers with correct DKIM signature and you can tell the world that Emails that are not set up, sent that way should be considered forged and should be considered spam. In this configuration, we just check if there's the demand policy that passes. So if all is correct, we also have uh, demand save reports option. The uh, mark policies works uh, in a way that you can send to servers that send, are sending email to you a report with the forged email that arrives to your domain. This way, uh, this e the email administrator can better define the mark policies uh, and check if somebody is using his domain for forgeries. This part is, uh, can be enabled by the spam assassin plugin but it should be configured in, directly in the MailDemark software. So you have, in the MailDemark software you have to configure where to save reports, when to save reports uh, and, and so on. Another big change that took a lot of time to implement and is something that, that was a bit complex is the inclusion changes in syntax. We changed a lot of keywords to be to use more inclusive keywords so we get rid of whitelist and blacklist concepts and we shift to walk on list the blocklist concepts. At the moment all keywords and new keywords are both working in Spanish in 4.0. All keywords will probably be removed in Spanish in 4.1 but uh, Spanish in 4.0 is not out yet so it would be a long move until we completely deprecate the old syntax. It's 
definitely better to strip shit to the new syntax as soon as possible in order to be able to use the syntax and completely forget about it when Spansas in 4.1 will be released. This affects the standard rules that are compatible and all your own rules so you have to check your own rules for those changes and adapt it for new versions. This is the main part of the big big changes that Spanistas in 4 uh, has and the main features of the software. Thanks for joining.